So we're going to do a little bit more woodworking in this video. We are going to start making our overhead cabinets which are going to be up here just on this one side, maybe a shelf or two, and then do some shelves in the kitchen area as well above the sink. So we were originally going to have cupboards going along both sides of the bed but actually we were thinking about it and we thought that it might actually make it look a bit more cramped in the van and we have less space in the bed so we might hit our, hit our heads when we're getting up and stuff. So we realised now that we've got the wardrobes down here as well, we've got a bit of clothes storage there, so yeah we can get away with just having one set of cupboards along this bit here and we haven't decided yet exactly how big they'll be but probably going most of the way along. And then, yeah, here above the sink, we were thinking we'd have another cupboard here that we'd put soft food in, like bread and crisps and things like that, pasta maybe or something. Um, but actually, we were thinking that because we're going to have the blind here, we want to be able to get in to open and close the blind and do the washing up, and we're a bit worried maybe we'd hit our head and it'd make it a little bit too boxed in here. So we figured actually just having, well, Abby figured, I thought it was a good idea when she convinced me, just having a couple of shelves there would be quite nice. Well I just thought it would look nice as well because then you can actually see things on show, you know you can have a couple of plants there or a couple of recipe books and stuff like that so I think it would look like quite nice to look at otherwise it's just loads of blue cupboards in the kitchen. Yep so, I yeah. agree. Right I guess we should draw a diagram then again. Do we? <laughs> well <laughs> Why? a sketch. I'm trying a to sketch. figure out what we're doing with this bit. Yeah not a diagram. There are so many diagrams. <laughs> a nice sketch. Yeah. I'll get you a pad and a pencil. Do your magic. Okay I'll try. Does that make sense? I think so, yeah it's looking pretty good. So yeah, we've just been having a little chat about the kind of things we want in these cupboards um, and obviously you know we each need somewhere to store our clothes but then we thought about things like toiletries and stuff as well. So what we're thinking of at the moment is that like, here's the back doors so this is a bird's eye view. Um, we're gonna have one cupboard for Tim's clothes, one for mine and then a little shelf before one cupboard next to the shower wall for our toiletries and things. So 30 and then 40 wide for each of these closed cupboards. 35 length shelf and then 35 for the toiletry cupboard, so slightly smaller than the closed ones. Yeah, I reckon that looked pretty good. What's also really convenient is that we left the cladding in this area because we knew we were going to do the cupboards at some point. So actually it's made our job quite easy and it will mean that when we put the cupboards up it will also finish off this last bit of wall which is the last unfinished wall in the van which is yeah. quite nice well apart from the back doors obviously and the shower walls and stuff oh yeah well <laughs> so you just grabbed a piece of plywood just to try and simulate what it'll look like i guess so this is 30 30 from the wall 30 from the wall so if i try and guess about 25 yeah so this that would be about 25. it's a bit weird just generally seeing anything boxing up that area isn't it yeah tricky i don't know if you did 30, it would come up to there. That's essentially 30. Okay. That's not too bad. I don't think you'd want to go much deeper than that, though. Yeah, that's, that's about right, I think. One thing I am thinking, though, is maybe not having the cupboard go right to the back here. Sat here like this, it feels a little bit intrusive. So we just moved it back just slightly like that just feels a little bit nicer yeah and then you could have our reading light coming out the side there yeah we've got these these two wires coming down one on each side is basically for that so it's been waiting to go in for a while hasn't it yeah yeah okay So far we've cut two pieces of wood to form the start of that cupboard um, but we thought actually we might cut these down in half again to make one by twos and one by ones similar to how we did it for the wardrobe 
um, because yeah, actually it's probably overkill for what we need up here. We can save a bit of weight because it's only going to be holding like clothes and toiletries and stuff. So yeah, yeah let's do that. I think. made the bases of our cupboards so we're going to have one little cupboard there and then later on we'll be putting a shelf here and then this is the two cupboards together so there's going to be one divider in the middle of the double cupboard on the right hand side and we figured we'd use the uh, leftover bits of van floor we've got trying to use up all the last bits of scraps so that's about nine mil and then we thought it'd be quite nice to have that in a groove so it's like routed in and it's nice and locked into place so then what we thought we'd do actually is just use the table saw because it's a really nice straight piece and just kind of router it on the table saw just by basically just moving the blade along a couple of times so just done a test and uh, yeah actually works pretty good quite nice and and neat, really. So that is the basic frame we're going for, that's kind of what it will look like. Uh, but then we were just thinking actually we might bring it out into the van a little bit more. So we've made this extra little bit of 2 by one that we can just put at the back. And just doing that means that this can screw into this quite convenient batten in the shower behind. And also gives us just a tiny bit more depth in the cupboard. Because it was a little bit tight before and we've got the door on and stuff like that. So it's only an extra two centimetres or so. but. Might make all the difference, right? Maybe. There you go. Yeah, do you think that's better? Yeah. Nice. More space. All right, hopefully one template. Yeah, it's pretty good. And do you think that we'll be able to use the same piece or the same template all the way down there? Not all the way, maybe for the other side of this, but yeah. So we were making it out of the leftover piece of the floor, but we've changed our mind actually and decided to use some of the leftover bits of six mil birch ply we have, which hopefully I think we will have just enough and we've done that because this floor stuff because it's been in the van for its previous life it's quite rugged <laughs> it's been walked on and had big boxes pulled over it and stuff so it's just a bit rough around the edges so we thought we'd just get a much nicer finish if we use this why is it the one time we come out and do some woodwork again it's been raining again because it knows it's us right so we're in the van today it's nice and dry in here and warm and we're just trying to figure out how to get the shape of these side pieces right. And what we've done is we've cut them down roughly to shape to the back and the top. And we've left a little bit of overhang at the bottom and at the front side. And then what we've done is used a little washer with a pencil to go up the left hand side and along the top. And then we've just 
cut that scribe and then once we're happy with the shape that we've got then we just trim off the excess on the front and at the bottom and it seems to be going all right doesn't it yep while i've been trying to hold it like this yeah <laughs> <laughs> with a mixture of clamps a bit awkward so. we've put a piece of three mil plywood just behind there as well because that's going to form we're going to put that onto the wall first to be the like backs of them yeah so yeah just trying to hold it up and it's a little bit painful after a while but yeah. it just about works See if it actually fits. In place, is that it? Yeah. It's pretty good for my That's side. Pretty bang on, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's nice that we're better at this. <laughs> we used to not be very good. <laughs> this piece is a bit of a jigsaw piece, isn't it? Yeah. Just this little. Um, we're just doing the divider inside the cupboard, so it's smaller than these end pieces. It's going to slot into our routed grooves, so we're just trying to do that. At the moment. What she means is Abby's trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait for her to draw all the lights if we cut it out. <laughs> We're here for more supports. <laughs> Or it's like one of those balancing games. What's next in this construction? I have lost track. I thought you were a biscuit though. Oh nice. Okay. <laughs> Done some routering. Done some painting. Yep. Waiting for paint to dry. Yep. It's one of those really bitty projects where there's just loads of little Pieces. bits you gotta do. Yeah, you start to forget which bit you've got to do next. I guess we've got to paint the other side of the three mil ply the top coat. Can okay. We? Make my eyes go funny. One point five six seven eight. So Abby has marked up where those two little rails are gonna go in that shelf. And now I've got the tricky job of trying to cut out these boxes with the router. This one's gonna be particularly awkward because it's right in the centre of the material. So yeah. <laughs> now we've done a lot of cuts on this, so I don't want to screw up at this point because each progressive bit makes it more annoying to have to redo the thing. Right, here we go. Could do the easy one first. Easier one, anyway.
Okay. Alright. So, that was alright. That was the awkward one. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> it's going to take a while, isn't it? We've got to do those like two bits there, and then this bit, and then we've got to chisel out the box, and then do it on the other side, and that's just to put in one bit of wood yeah. to hold in some books. Oh well. It'll be worth it in the end. <laughs> Nice and square. Yeah, not too bad. Considering. So that took some doing, but we've finally got all of our pieces nice and sanded and ready to get going with assembling it all together. So, which one do you want to start with, Tim? Uh, let's go for the small one. Yeah. <laughs> Easy one. This extender clamp is just big enough to span this whip. Look, it was made for it. It's crazy. Solid. Sounds good to me. Well, I didn't actually finish my last one. <laughs> you never do. That's what happens when you get wrapped up in band building. True. Basically everything sanded now. Yeah. Now to paint it. <laughs> and fortunately, we've actually got a decent day today. It's quite warm, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, please excuse the noise. Look, these two tiny little rascals making all this noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. 
So that's all for part one. Join us again next time where we'll be making the doors for our cabinets and the kitchen shelves and getting everything onto the wall. See you then!